Hello everyone. Uh, today let's solve this problem. Maximum value at a given index in a bounded array. So let's understand the problem. Uh, here we have given three positive integers. N. N what n? It's in a vector like nums dot length. And index, we will give an index and the maximum sum. Sum of all the elements in the vector should be equal to the maximum sum. And what it is stating that? For every nums uh, nums of i is a positive integer, it can be a positive integer, and uh, difference of these two, absolute difference of this these two should be less than or equals to one. Absolute difference we can say three four or four three both are valid and four four these all things are valid, and sum of all the elements does not exceed maximum sum. If we sum all this, it should not exceed the maximum sum. So it should be less than or equals to maximum sum. We need to maximize this index. Uh, in the question, it will provide index. We need to maximize the maximize this index. And we need to just return the index, like at what index it is maximized. So let's understand with this small example. Suppose n is four. N is four. We have four elements, and index he has given as two, zero, one, two, three. At index two, it should be a maximum, and the maximum uh, sum can be six. What here is told that here he assigned two, and here he assigned two one one. So now the sum is six, and the maximum is two. Suppose if you assign three, what it will happen? Let's see. Suppose we assign three, what we can assign over here three two or one. It's best possible. Uh, Best possible is two, one, and here two. What it is happening? The sum is exceeding the six, so three is not valid. I think you understood it. Uh, let's see. Like suppose it is k, at index two, and at this index, at this index v of two, either it should be or equals to this k, or this k minus one, and at index zero, it should compare with this. Only the both scenarios only are possible for every element. It should be dependent on the next element. Uh, what we can do? He has given an index, so let's consider this as here, and we need to maximize it. We need to maximize it. So we should minimize all the left elements and right elements. So to minimize that, what is the best uh, best way? If it is k, what it can be? Only k minus one, right? And what this can be k minus two until it goes to one. And if it reaches one and still the elements are left, all these elements should be one only. Same thing over here. If it is k, k minus one, k minus two, k minus three, and so on, one. If elements continues, then all other elements should be one. Uh, if it is carefully, if you observe carefully, if it is k, this is k, right? In this case, uh, suppose k is six, and its k is equal to six. The condition is failing. The condition is failing, stating that the sum is greater than required sum. Sum is greater than the required sum. Then what we will say? Seven definitely it will fail. Eight definitely it will fail. So what we can do? We can we should only check towards the right. Only from five we need to check. We need to exclude all this right element ones. Suppose, suppose, at six it is success. Ah, uh, here the required sum, sum, is less than or equal to required sum. So what we can say from all the elements for one, two, three, four, five until five for everything it will fail success, right? Because this sum will be always less than the required sum because the maximum is six. From here, what we can check only seven, eight, nine, ten. Only this we can check. Only this. So if you observe it, uh, if you see it, we are excluding the right element sometimes, and we are excluding the left element sometimes. So we can think of a binary search. Sometimes we are excluding right, sometimes we are excluding the left left side elements. And if Uh, same thing I have written here, which I have explained in the top. So let's understand, like, for what it is stating. So 
it's a binary search we are going left and right is going left and right and i am storing answer as minus 1 and i am calculating the mid huh? if mid is valid then we need to check towards the right side suppose suppose k is equals to 5 and it is success over here then we need to check towards the right right because for everything below 5 everything will be passed and we need the maximum value so we have to check from the 6 7 8 9 10 until maximum sum and suppose it k it is failing suppose it k it is failing and if i it is failing then we need to check for 6 7 8 9 total sum and this is the second scenario all the elements 1 2 3 4 will get failed for mid it is failing we need to go towards left towards the right and here we have check and now what it is states that it i it is 3 suppose if we consider this and this is the value we are what we are saying we are doing left count and we are going the right count what is the left count now we will give the index 3 we will say left count as 3 right because if it is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is how many elements are there 3 what is the right count n minus i minus 1 because if the total elements are 7 over here 7 minus 3 minus 1 the same way n minus i minus 1 what is the value value can be from mid minus 1 m minus 1 to 1 in this way we are calculating the left sum right sum and total sum to what is total uh, total sum we will add this element and we will do left sum and we will the right sum if this is less than or equals to s we will go towards the right or else we will go to the left this is the most important scenario how we need to calculate suppose our the required count is 4 and the total values are 4 directly we will say 4 3 2 1 directly we into we can do n into n plus 1 by 2 we use the sum of n numbers n into n plus 1 by 2 is the formula and suppose the count is 6 the value is 4 hmm? value is 4 of your what we will do suppose the value suppose here it is saying that i will keep 5 here we can so 4 3 2 1 all these remaining elements should be 1 right to make it minimum in this way 4 3 2 1 and in this way we are storing 1 1 we are adding all the remaining elements count minus value third scenario if we have value 6 but the count is only 4 suppose it is 7 over your here is storing but the count is saying that only 4 elements are left what it will be 6 5 4 3 only this should be valid right 6 5 4 3 how we will calculate we will calculate the sum of n integers minus how many integers are left over remaining value minus count value minus count remaining into remaining plus one in this way we will return s i think you have understood understood this question so what will be the time complexity for this it will be log of sum of n how much is the sum of n and for this you know, it is direct order of one here also we are directly doing it is order of one so we can say the time complexity of the solution is order of log n and the same thing space complexity space complexity is order of one i think you have understood this question thanks for watching